And I remember the head of the record company, a guy called Rick Blasky, was talking to the director of the TV show. And he said, this is the best song in the competition. And he said, oh, you think it's going to win then? He went, I didn't say that. And consequently, we didn't. We were disappointed at the time, but in hindsight nowadays, you finish six, you bite the handle, wouldn't you? And the interesting thing as well, when you were watching the votes coming in, we see that it was like all the tens were coming through, and we were getting tens and twelves. It was like, oh, this is, oh yes, we're onto this. You can see, actually, see, if you ever see the video, you'll see me. I'm always, I'm doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then glad, gradually, the scores stopped, and then the young lady from Luxembourg ended up winning. So. Sad, but you know, that's life really. Yeah, very, very nervous. Because um, it's it's one of those things that could change your life forever. If you win Eurovision, it's huge. In 1983, I believe, it's, in fact, I know it's right. My nan was living in Australia, and I know it was the first time that Eurovision was broadcast in Australia. So there was over 500 million people watching that show that night. So was I nervous? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but it, as I say, if the night, if you won Eurovision, it changes your life because it's not only the UK you, you've won, you represent the UK, but across Europe, you're on every TV show, every radio station. It's huge. To lose, you just come home and go home to your bed sit. I'm now selling phones at a great little shop called Get Connected in Abergavenny. So if you need a new phone, come see me. Um, and life's great. I've recently moved back. I've been living in Italy for 15 years. And it was time to move back. You know, it's a long way to order an Uber curry. Yeah, yeah, I'll be watching it. Got to get all the sweets and the, the vodka ready. And we're going, come on, Britain! Who is this year's entry? <laughs> Is it May and Muller, I think it is. Good luck. Um, don't ask me who I think is gonna win. No, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Finland. So when I watch Eurovision, the, one of the questions I'm always asked, do, do you get nostalgic for it? Do, does, does it bring back memories? Well, yes and no. But it's sort of in the, when you speak to your, your grandfather, your granddad, you know, in my day, it's, no, it's a totally different show. I, I don't. I get the feeling that I've done that. Good luck, keep your fingers crossed for you. But it's a totally, it's totally different because you've got semi finals, got two semi finals, then a final. When I did it, it was just a final, that was it. 